Now I'm going to show you how to use Quiz Mixer to create a custom quiz. For me, the easiest thing to do when I'm going to create a custom quiz is first find the movie that I'm going to base it off of. So I'm just going to use this computer's movie as an example. And you will see that right up above where it says Standards Lesson Plan, you'll see Create Quiz. And you can go ahead and click on that. There will automatically be a search. You'll pop into the search tab. You'll see there's a right tab and there's a search tab. Um, it's always a great idea to um, maybe start with the quiz that is written by BrainPop. And I'm going to see if I can find that here. It isn't, doesn't seem to be part of the list for me right here. Um, but a lot of these people who have built quizzes have probably built quizzes around the the that uh, brain pop computer quiz so I'm just gonna look at one of these people's quizzes by clicking the down arrow if I want to expand and see answers I can click the down arrow again If you're like me, lots of times when you have want to use brain pop quizzes, you like some of the questions, you don't like some of the questions, and this is a great opportunity for you to kind of customize um, your quiz to what you're teaching, or also to um, uh, maybe simplify a quiz that's a little too high for your students, especially if you're in one of the elementary grades, um, maybe not because brain pop is for third through eighth, some of those quizzes are too high for your students. So um, this is what you can do. You can go through and you can add questions one by one. So let's say I want to use this one. Oh, I need to create a quiz. So I'm going to call my quiz computing. Okay, and you can see it created this quiz here. And um, here is my um, question that I added. Well, I want to continue to work on it, so I'm going to click the pencil. And it's always a good idea to look in the search bar because you can then find that quiz again. This is the quiz I was looking at. And I don't care about my kids um, uh, really understanding binary or things like that. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, now let's say I only like really two of these questions. So I took those two questions and put them in my quiz. Now I can go looking at other people's um, quizzes. Ooh, I like this. What is this? Ooh, what does this say? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, we're going to be working on that word. Oh, this is another thing that I want to talk to my kids about. Okay, so let's say these are all the questions that I want to steal from somebody else. And um, I'm... When I scroll up, I can see right here are my quizzes. Okay, I want to write a new question. I can pop into this right uh, tab right here, and you can choose whether you want a multiple choice, an open-ended, or a poll. Um, you can have text answers or image answers. If you have a picture you want your kids to refer to, um, you can upload a picture, large or small, so your answers can be, can be pictures or you can include pictures as part of your question, and you can just start writing. So let's say this, um, on many devices, what does 
this icon need? Question mark. So I've saved an image that is the share icon on an Apple device. So I'm going to click upload image and it's sitting in my downloads. Here it is. Going to open it up. There's my picture. And I'm going to say print share your file with someone and uh, let's say save. I'm going to indicate that this is the correct answer and I'm going to add to quiz. And you're going to go on like this adding all the questions you want, every kind of question you want. Um, if you wanted to add an open-ended question, just know that you need a point value. Um, so there's that. But once you're done with all of the questions you want to add, you quickly click finalize. Um, you can select randomized question order. You can select your quiz to be review, graded, or choice. I like to usually say choice. You can choose to share your quiz with other people so that they can um, use it for their work, um, which is, you know, a good idea if you think you have a good quiz. And then you're going to quickly, you're going to click that publish button. Now, I've been having a little bit of problems with the publish button in the last couple of days, but publish is how your quiz is going to become available to assign to your students. And that's how easy it is to create a custom quiz.